Mm-hmm. All right. Is jihad holy war? Yeah, you know, a lot of us um, infidels don't, we don't really understand. We weren't subjected to Islam. Otherwise, we'd probably know more about Islam. And if we had the same kind of mentality, you know, where you question things, it's unfortunate conclusions sometimes. I guess the same thing would happen, you know. <sighs> but anyway, at least I approach this as a inquiring infidel who probably would have been an apostate if I was if geography had rolled the wrong dice for me. <laughs> Is jihad holy war? No, definitely not. Jihad should never be confused with holy war. All right, then what is that? Is it just holy war? I mean, is there some interesting name we could use instead of jihadis being scary? Because we, you know, you see the fanatics. I mean, just like if we showed you our snake handlers and holy rollers, you know, you'd be like, holy shit. Really? An idea that does not have a place in Islam. Holy war doesn't have an I. Oh, I see. You guys need a word for that. One you can share with the rest of us so we can stop picking on war. Jihad. Is that just as, you know, a, you know, an honorable struggle? And who's not down for that? I mean, I support anyone that, you know, does is a jihadi of that type. Especially if they make it a secular approach, you know, where, you know, they like run a marathon or climb a mountain and because, mm, I don't know. But, you know, hey, maybe we could all jihad, you know, even us non-religious people. We could, I don't know what you'd call it, though. Uh, I guess it can't be jihad because it's holy, you know, and... I don't like to have holes in my reasoning. So why have holy reasoning? <laughs> yeah, oh, Islam doesn't have a term for holy war. So they're like, well, that one sort of works. Isn't that too bad? Yeah, that's how we, that's how words lose their meaning and become something else. Yeah. Just happens, I guess. All right. The concept of holy war does not exist anywhere in the Quran, nor is it found in classical Islamic teaching. It is a foreign concept introduced by the Crusaders who waged holy war. The crusade is a jihad, an anti-jihad. You know, the whatever. Um, it's a holy war. It's a holy war. Holy war against the Muslim infidels in the Holy Land. So, wow. Yes, anyone can be an infidel, huh? Contrary to popular opinion, jihad is not a means of forcing Islam on others. Nice to know. It should never be viewed as expansionistic, proselytizing movement. However, historically, and even in today's time, some Muslims have taken it as such. Well, you know, yeah, that's why you can't blame all this group or that group for the actions of an, maybe an individual or a small group within that group. You know, because, yeah. It's just the way it is with human beings. You know, that's... <laughs> <sighs> this distortion of the 
virtuous concept of jihad is in total contradiction to authentic Islamic teachings. Islam is the noble effort of improving oneself, one's family and community, one's nation and the world at large. That's fine unless it's just a, you know, tout your religion or even worse than that. You know, I always, I mean, you always find, you know, when you look at societies that are, you know, uh, theocracy, you know, theocratic, you know, where they're like measuring your beard and deciding whether you need a whipping in the street, you know, and telling you you can't do this and you can't do that. But some things just get carried too far, don't they? Yeah, because religion is so malleable. That's the thing, you know. Christianity and apparently jihad are kind of like spiritual tofu, you know. They kind of take on the characteristics of whatever you cook them with. They're very adaptable for people. Very useful. That's why so many people are getting it wrong now. And it's worse with Christianity, but it's catching up with Islam. They've got other splinter factions and, you know. All right. Jihad is the struggle that a mother undergoes during pregnancy. Childbirth and the raising of her child. Yeah. I don't know. Can you imagine that, though? It's like a, one of those breathing exercises, you know? Jihad. 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 I don't think it'd work. I think you'd probably pass out. <laughs> yeah, birth and the raising of the child. It is years of hard work. What a student puts towards a good education. It is the sacrifice that a firefighter makes when risking his own life to save another. And it is the courage that a soldier has on the battlefield in the defense of his life, his country, his freedom, and his beliefs. So, yeah, you can cook that with anything. And sometimes it's going to come out mighty toxic. You know, but, yeah, I can see how you can take it in a good way also. So, uh, anyhow, let me know. Did you, did you learn anything? Is this very possibly going to change your life? Maybe. I'm trying to hypnotize people with a <laughs> flash. Uh, Anyway, chime in. Uh, having fun, that's all.